What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ijin Pochi and welcome back to the next episode of Ken Follett's Pillars of the Earth. Where we are in chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of 7. And we are a refugee. And we can go upstairs now. Okay, well this is interesting. Let's see what we can do in here. Writing. Nest. Made from rope and wood chips. Hmm. Very, hmm. very dry. Hmm. Very, very dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. Okay, let's go check out the writing. Inspect. Gutmund et filius Christianus Fischit. Ora Fuji Facta Mane. Mane. Okay, I have no idea what that means. Anything else you can do around here? Uh, is there something over here? No? Can we go to the other side? Doesn't look like it. Okay, I guess everything up here. Let's go back down. A little ball. Let's take it. <laughs> take the candle. I use my slingshot with that. No? Okay. Let's go into here. It won't it move. Ah, oh, dang it. It's locked. Let's leave. Labs. Prior James. Okay. I don't want to set fire to the place, but can we use the candle on the bird's nest? He said it's very dry. Ah. Don't do it. Uh oh, I did it. Yeah, go freaking out of the window. No? Okay. We are gonna be in trouble. 
We are gonna be in so much trouble for... We are going to... We are going to hell for sure. We burned down a freaking church. Uh-oh. What? Uh-oh. <laughs> We're in trouble. Get out. Oh my god, we set the church on fire. Oh no, 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 no. Water ball? It's too heavy. I can barely breathe. Oh, hold on, hold on. A ball. Water. Take. I need air. Use that on the fire. <laughs> That's not Maybe doing us any good. I can breathe. Let's get up. Uh-oh. Who are you? <coughs> There's a breeze coming from the back. Yeah. <coughs> All in the wall. Let's, uh... Let's climb down. It is you. By God and the devil. Oh, no. I sent you back to punish me. I told them we must repent for what we did to you, to all of them, for my sins. Cast is, me into the lake of fire. Is that the old briar? Yep. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, that was a twist. Friends, my friend, yeah, yeah. My dear brother. My dear brother, only two days have passed since you left our priory. Much has happened in these two days. Much. Many desperate men, women, and children have found refuge here. Francis is not responsible. The Earl of Shiring was arrested. His castle taken by my bishop's allies. The people that we shelter were driven from that castle. Francis, I know this was not your fault, but I, myself, cannot but feel responsible for their fate. Very smart. Write it all down. Give him a written a confession. come to seek shelter at our priory. Remigius tells me the woman is a witch. Even if that is not true, they seem to live in sin. I will send them away. I will let them stay. Remigius said to expel them for their act against God. But I decided against it. They might speak their vows as soon as opportunity is offered. More choices? Come on. Tell friends about the baby. Yeah. Milius and Cuthbert have taken it upon themselves to feed the baby. They called it Jonathan, the gift of God. The gift of God. Johnny Eightpence was right. He loves goat milk. More choices? The gift of God. No. And yet someone gave up on him. 
I will not give up on him or on anyone else. Yep, stupid thumb builder and his witch girlfriend. Not on us either, brother. Even if the hope for my own redemption is as small and frail as Jonathan is. And letter. I pray that this letter finds you in good health. In consideration of my own, I ask that you not talk about our parents again. One must let these things rest. I have made my peace and won't hear any more of it. What happened to your parents, dear? I heard from you that only three in Earl Robert's employ can read. One of them is my brother. Your brother, Philip. Okay, now go look at your window, dude, cause um, it's a blaze. No, no, no! Get out of there! What? What? What is that? My God! Save yourselves! The saint! We must save the saint! Fire! The whole roof is in flames! My God! Uh oh! Go in there! But, but help us! The, the saint! We must save him! No! No! Don't go! Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Apparently that was meant to happen. Wow. Okay. Well, the church's gone. While the monks and refugees cleaned up, I kept hidden. I hadn't expected that a magnificent building like this could so utterly collapse. That the ignorant little boy that I had been could so easily turn it back into a pile of dirty stones. I knew then that I had done something wrong. And no one could ever find out. Hey, that's Tom Stick. Prior Philip, I uh, had the site cleared. It should be safe now. Good work. Thank you, Master Builder. This concludes a very long night, then. Master Builder? Uh, many people left already. They asked me to thank you for your kindness. Uh, sorry for what happened. Well, they should thank God for his mercy. No one got hurt, no one died. Forty-five monks and eleven novices, all accounted for. No one's missing. No one? Milius and Cuthbert even saved our saint from the crypt. Do you know what caused this? It was the devil's work. It was the devil's work. Or maybe it was God's will. What makes you say that? Oh, no one got hurt. The books were saved. Even the bones of your saint were unharmed. Maybe this happened for a reason. What do you mean? Here. Let me show you something. What now? Okay, um... Tell me, what do you see? What do I see? A burned down cathedral? Debris? Or done? I see... Ruins. Yes, but beyond that. Dawn? I see... Dawn. Right. Prior, I am deeply sorry about what happened to your church, but you must remain steadfast. And stare at the sunrise? <laughs> no, no, you're only seeing the sunrise because you're facing east, straight east, like a church. Now, I know you have no money, and that helping people is more important, but we could start right here. Take the stones we've got, and the people who want to help. So, what is it I am looking at, Tom Builder? Yeah, Tom. It's the aisle of your new cathedral. I 
I see it. I like I new things. Now. So, yeah. You are in favor of taking the refugees in. You agree to bury Arnaldus after his death. Because of you, the monks know that Tom and Ellen are unmarried. Although Philip learned the truth about Ellen, she is allowed to stay. You didn't mean to burn down the cathedral. You inspired Philip to rebuild Kingsbridge Cathedral. Okay, well that was an interesting <laughs> turn of events. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more Pillars of the Earth. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.